Hey guys, Zar here, looking at some interesting price action right now. On the NAS 10 minute chart, I've just revised, there was a zone here, we broke and closed. There's a little bit of a blip above, but no trade uh, opportunity for me, given this, right? This is where prices were breaking into, uh, just trying to do a, what's known as a, t a 2B reversal here, and um, into two standard deviations. So no trade in on that overextension, but, when you don't see what you expect to see happen from a structural standpoint does not happen and is actually a breakdown very often that can mean there's an opportunity in the other direction in that case going short instead of long on that original long bias uh, given an upside break breakout fake out call it what you wish becomes a potential short in this case just uh Revising my zones there, which I encourage you to do as well. So now zone revision to here, in your resistance area. And now we wait for this candle to close in three minutes and 45 seconds. Considering, thinking about considering, um, a short now, of course. I'm going to put you on pause for a moment to spare you from the grinding sideways, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, we're back here, and it's 1 minute and 30 seconds left to go in this 10-minute candle. Flipping over to my own trading platform, happens to be Interactive Brokers. No affiliation. I just get asked the question a lot, so I'm telling you. Where I do my day trading in particular, and I'm setting up an order. The order will look something like this will be a sell stop limit for those of you who watch my videos you know why I'm doing what I'm doing and uh, <clears throat> I'll be looking for just a bit more than a one-to-one -one as a starting stop no upper uh, wick on this on this candle interestingly enough one-to-one 36 seconds left. 36 seconds left. I would like to see this close higher. But I don't get to tell the market what to do. And so I'll have to make decisions based on what the market gives me, as you do in your own trading practice. Ready? love to see an upper wick now I'd like to see a top wick before taking this short I'm going to flip you over to the one minute chart or include the one minute chart yeah okay the order's live the order's live even with no top wick and that's something I don't love but I think it's worth the coin flip given what I'm seeing here. Only because we've recently tapped the 20 and that's important for me given those two white candles that you see there. The pullback happened on this wick on the 10 minute chart. See that pullback this wick 10 minute chart. Ideally, we'd see another top wick because most candles have top wicks and you hear me talk about that a lot in my uh, my videos Okay, I'm in this order. I'm in this uh, trade. Pardon me. My order has been taken Watching closely Watching closely on the 10 and the one minute chart We are short. And we are cool, calm, and collected. Knowing that we're just flipping coins, calling heads, and our edge is weighted the coin slightly towards heads over time.
risking one to make a little bit more than one, meaning one unit of risk for one unit of return. To show you VWAP, this played a part in why I took this trade. The overextension, well, the extension, and you can't call it overextension because markets can get, can go anywhere they want for extended periods of time. But whenever we get to two standard deviations, there are forces that come into play that will often bring it back. You saw it here earlier today in the pre London, which was in Asia, of course, and then here again for now, no guarantees. Without an upper wick here, uh, this is less likely to play out, but seems to be moving in our direction for now. Stop now to above this candle wick on the one minute chart. You see that there? We've just reduced our risk by about half. Pretty close to it. But we've increased the likelihood of being taken out at that risk. Make sense? There's always that trade-off. This price action wants to come back and create an upper wick. There's a need for an upper wick. And the reason I know that is because most candles have upper wicks. See all these candles here? Upper wick, upper wick, small one. Upper wick, 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 all the way down. Here's one without. That's a white candle, right? With blue candles, look at the blue candles. All have upper wicks, right? And this one doesn't, so it's acting differently. That can work in our favor because it means an unbridled drive down, or it can mean that there wasn't enough of a structural pullback or retracement to, uh, to create a more resourceful structure, if that makes sense. From an engineering standpoint, I hope, hopefully it does. Watching. Patiently watching. Many newer traders will be taking profit now because they don't like this hesitation and they will take what they have off the table. And in the long run, that will make them a losing trader because the math doesn't work. It may only make them feel good for today. Because if I took profits now, that means I had a win. And winning is what humans need to do. There's a deep evolutionary need to win victories. We're gladiators or hunters of prey. And I can get some prey right now. I could hunt and kill this prey right now, but it's small prey. And if you're hunting small prey, but taking the full hit when you lose, the math doesn't work. just feels good in the moment and that is the essence of successful trading are you willing to give back all of this profit and to actually take a big loss like this hope the answer is yes very difficult thing to to agree to I flip you back to VWAP. I will tell you that our our target is right at about VWAP 47.75, which is right here. 
We're asking a lot. We're asking a lot of this market. this together. I'm waiting. I'm just uh, answering questions in my Telegram group. Some very good questions. I'll just share this one with you because it's uh, it's a good question. Um, somebody in our group says, "Tell me something, Zar. I just started trading U.S. futures on uh, in March, uh, deep into the bear market. How was it to trade during a bull market? Was the price more predictable? I've seen daily candles in the Nasdaq as small as 60 points. How was it to trade without extreme sell-offs and violent bear rallies?" I said, it's a good question. I mean, but price action is price action. But yes, the ATR average true range can get quite small in predictable markets as measured by the VIX too. You just have to trade inside of the current environment and shift your expectations. I said, ultimately, we're trading our values. So you just adjust the number of points. Instead of risking 20 points to make 40, it may be risking five to make 10, but the profits and losses are the same. Hopefully that makes sense to you too, uh, as a as a listener right now. Um, you just have to adjust things, right? And uh, our values kind of equalize the the playing field. But it can be very difficult in 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 small moving arranging markets to make money, as was the case yesterday. A lot of people got hurt yesterday. <clears throat> it was a sloppy, messy, meandering kind of a market for day traders. 
Swing traders probably did okay. All right, I'm going to um, I'm going to put you on pause so that you can. I'll spare you the the sideways grind, and I'll bring you back if something interesting happens. Here we go. Okay, guys, we're back. A few minutes have passed. You see, prices have kind of retraced. Not kind of, they have retraced all the way back to um, the twenty and tapped the twenty EMA. Now running over a little bit, but I think this could go even higher, and I'm willing to give it all back. For this to play out for the for the shot at this playing out makes sense I think this is a sound trade idea it has a sound intellectual framework it has a reasonably sound structural framework the only thing I don't like of course is the fact that we didn't have a upper wick on that 10 minute candle I make no bones about that It's a good setup. I wouldn't say stellar setup, but it's a trade worth flipping the coin on. If you don't know what I mean by the coin flip, I encourage you to listen to my trading psychology playlist on the, on the uh, and one called the coin flip of trading or something. I'll, I'll just look for the words coin flip in my trading psychology playlist. By the way, my mental game playlist, my trading psychology playlist is my most important material. And most traders, unfortunately, will be drawn to the live trade trading videos where I, you watch trades from, from beginning to end, pre-trade all the way to post-trade, whether I win or lose. That's a very attractive thing, it's sexy. It's the steak and the sizzle and all that stuff. But I can assure you that the mental game playlist is far more important and far more powerful to you becoming either a profitable trader in the first place or a more profitable trader. Once you have a basic understanding of price action, this becomes entirely a mental game. The real game of trading is played inside of your head. I repeat this in almost every video because that's where the magic happens, when you understand that this is a game of impulse control. Then great things happen. I recorded a new podcast yesterday, it's on the YouTube channel as well, called Mastering the Art of Patience. And already the feedback has been, you know, where were you 15 years ago? Where was this? I'm going to listen to this daily, and some others I'm going to listen to this weekly, just to remind myself of... This idea of, of avoiding the impulse to overtrade it really explains why you have this impulse in the first place from an evolutionary standpoint. And I think that's critical to understand. When you understand the why, you can begin to work with it. And so that, that video is very important. It's a video, audio, has one slide. You get to look at a picture of, I think it's clouds or ocean or something. And then just listen for eight minutes. And that eight minutes can change your life. Literally. All right, this thing's moving against us. When I say us, it's because I don't want to feel alone. <laughs> it's moving against me uh, for now, but I'm still in profit. Look at that. I could take it right now. Nervous traders, what would you do? I know what you would do. You would jump out right now. Take the sure. It's going against us, right? I would take the sure win right now. It'd be a small win, but I could take it. Then I can feel good about myself. I can feel like a winner, not a loser, right? And that's what's happening on a neurological level. Um, but I'm not going to. We'll watch this together. I'll put you on pause. So you can avoid the sideways grind. I'll bring you back if something interesting happens. Here we go. We're back watching now watching closely
So price action really toying with with our psychology now is grinding sideways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, will we'll absolutely drive many traders just to get out and take the sure win right here. I am even tempted, to be quite frank with you, given what I'm seeing here, this basing. This basing is not constructive to staying in. See that there? We're also into a slower part of the session. It's 5.32 a.m. for me, which means this market has been open for two and a half hours. So we're getting into the sluggish part of the of the day uh, here. And now you see prices making a, a, a resurgence. So with this double bottom you see here, price is pulling back, double bottom, basing, and now structure has changed. And I'm going to tell you that for the first time in this trade, there's actually a structural reason to think about closing it out, taking a small loss or a small profit because of this changing of the guard. Let me just make sure I'm on the same. Yeah, we're looking at the same slides. Perfect. Just want to make sure I didn't still have you over here on VWAP. Although you see that structure change there too. So we're going to make a judgment call here. I'm going to ask you to watch this with me. I'm going to manage this together. Structural reason. We've also broken above the previous 10 minute candle. That's a bullish sign. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my take profit right to break even. Let's see if we can get a marginal pullback here and get out with a break even. And I hope you understand that when I do this, the reasons I do it, I've just been sitting here telling you that we're going to stay with the program. We're not going to jump out. We're not going to do any of these things. But look what I just did. Look what I'm trying to do here. And I hope you can see the context and how things have changed. Right? We have a very real structural reason to believe this market is now going higher. It has everything to do with the break above the previous 10-minute candle. That's a 10-minute reason to buy, not a 10-minute reason to sell. And before that happened, we were in... We had every reason to believe that we were, we should be expecting a short trade to play out in our favor. We've also convincingly broken above the 20 EMA and climbing higher. You see that there? And we have this very clean and clear basing period on the one minute chart. It would look like this. New range, right? That did not exist earlier. It does now. Drive down. Attempt to drive up, drive back down, fail to break below, and now breaking above previous resistance. That's a structural change of trend. And now we're looking for a little bit of a pullback here so we can get out with a break even if at all possible. Otherwise, I'm willing to take a full loss. It's just a it's a routine, it's a routine uh, loss. Routine expense in our business practice. Pardon me, I was just looking at one of my Telegram messages here. Watching closely now. This is all about in-trade management, right? All about in-trade management. I, got, I just got to take it out of here in my own account. So there we go. Okay. So break even trade, guys. Break even trade. And a masterclass 
if I don't say so myself, <laughs> I say that kind of tongue in cheek, but a master class really on in-trade management, managing psychology and impulse control. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a 25 minute video, well worth watching several times to understand the mindset of what a, what a professional trader goes through and what they need to negotiate throughout the entire process. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day. We'll see you in the New York session or even before that if another setup comes. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.